Howdy cowdies. Here's another quick little weekly walkabout at the collector. Some more cool stuff to sell this week. Nice early edition little uh, May Gibbs book there, Gumnut Babies, in pretty good condition for its age. Here's a nice little bit over the back there, a little mobile tanker of a little HO gauge train set. Some nice little bits of ivory and carved bone. Some military medals, lovely little Marcusite cocktail watch. Some nice bits of bits of jewellery and bits and bobs like that. Some lovely swap cards this week. Some nice shipping ephemera actually over the back there and the little postcards from Tasmanian steamers. It's a nice little book, the Port Phillip Shipwright Society book with there from 1912. Um, more costume jewellery, nice little protractor, little scientific instrument. Some cool footy cards, little wag ones there at the top. There you go, and some more swap cards, advertising, and some jumbo size playing cards with some naked girls. <gasps> some pretty cool stuff. Some lovely furniture again this week. Really nice big four-drawer oak filing cabinet there. Lovely little drop-side auto trolley. And here's nice, the big office chair there with all the buttoned upholstery. Quite a modern piece, but certainly looks the part. I like these, actually. The Italian designer little chair there. And another one over to the right, the high back office chair there with the sort of wheels on the base. They're both made by Vahai. And nice little Herman Miller chair in the middle of them there as well. It's got some cool clothes. Great 1970s gents tracksuit in great condition there. Some oriental clothing, some nice furs. Lots of nice big boxes and stuff like that of pretty china and linen. And other bits this week. All sorts of stuff. All makeup gear and some stereo equipment and lights and stuff. Like this little oak uh, little bookshelf. He's a lovely little bit, probably out of a library or something like that. Some more nice bits and bobs. Lovely old door leading up against the big roller door. Sort of industrial trolley there with a little filing cabinet to go with it. Some more nice books and things like that again this week. This is pretty cool. The old JBC keyboard. Some lovely books this week. Official history of Australia in the First World War. More military sort of books. Heaps of art reference books. Some lovely stuff this week, guys. Nice more paintings and stuff that actually didn't make the sale last week. Some lovely pretty china and some portable typewriters and things. Always popular. This is lovely, actually. The old oak music stand there, all fully adjustable. There you go. The old Jolly Roger flag, pretty cool, hanging up. Some more nice paintings this week. This is lovely. The Audrey Snell still life oil there. These are quite nice little Australian school watercolours of Nambour up in Queensland and Magnetic Island as well up in Queensland. They're both, or well, one of them signed VYL and dated 1926 lower right. They've both got handwritten details verso as to where they are. Got a funny feeling these are actually another, um, another pair of Swinton Distant watercolours that he's used another pseudonym for. He paints under the pseudonym of De V. Deschamps. But these might be another one as well, just judging by the way they're handled and the actual, actually the handwriting on the back. Nice big Tessa three-piece lounge suite there, the 21 model. It's in pretty good condition. Some lovely reading lamps as well. And these are pretty cool, the two Audrey Hepburn Daybill posters. I think we've got some lobby cards as well. A bit later on, some good records this week. A little Scientist EP, 12-inch EP there. Good old Kim Salmon, pretty cool little Clash 12-inch single. Some lovely kids' books, actually, the old Noddy books there, the new big Noddy book in amongst some other Enid Blytons. Some lovely bears down the bottom there, and some nice sort of ink wells and desk things. Some nice train stuff this week. There you go, Wasp picture disc, which is pretty cool. Some more lovely vintage kids' books. Dolly Parton picture disc over the back there. This is a great little Minolta um, little mini camera. Some nice little uh, Snoopy Charlie Brown books. These little three little ones at the front here are actually cards. They're actually made by Hallmark on the back. I've never seen them before. They're in great condition. Uh, what other bits have we got? Pretty cool. The big Fitzroy 1944 wig poster there, which is made quite recently. Some lovely old tins and blokey stuff and some EP and S, a couple of trophies. Some lovely art exhibition catalogues there, all female painters, Clarice Beckett, Constant Stokes. Some electric jugs, some more cool kids books and some little china figures, little pixie in the front's fantastic. Pretty cool actually, the remake 1982 Nike Air Force One sneakers. Pretty cool Tom Waits album there, Swordfish Trombones, been listening to that during the week. 
Nice big lot of Rick Amor um, exhibition catalogues and invitations. Pretty cool, actually. The Mandrake Magician book over the top there. Some lovely stuff in the end cabinets as well this week. All the early Playboys down the bottom. Some lobby cars from the Audrey Hepburn films. This is a lovely bit, the little Cinderella storybook there. It's got on the cover with models, and they haven't been cut out. So they're all still in the book. Really cool little lot. Nice exhibition catalogue over the back there of Claude Flight. Pretty amazing um, uh, British modernist. Did lots of works on paper and prints, lino cuts, woodblocks and that sort of thing. And he taught a lot of Australian artists how to do it as well. Nice little example. Nice bit over the back there. Yeah, got some more cool albums. Bit of Lou Reed, the Go-Go's down the bottom. And some nice stuff in the end cabinet. This large sort of looks like a big walking stick with all the holes in it. It's actually a lovely big Japanese um, wind instrument. I think Aaron was playing it the other day. It sounded really nice. Pretty cool. The Johnny Reb cowboy boots. Some nice sort of Australian World War One and World War Two, you know, booklets, magazines, some cool stuff. These are lovely. These are the tins over the back, actually. The Lions toffee tins are beautiful bit. And the Cinderella bonbons McRobinson with the paper label. Tasmania's war record there from 1914 to 1918. They're, I guess um, they are all the Tasmanians that went to the First World War. There you go, as opposed to the war in Tasmania over those years. <laughs> Another nice tin as well, the Pascal Westwood Ho. I love the La Naturist sort of French magazine there from a review. Pretty cool, pretty risque from the 1960s. Very cool thing. Lovely big Grimwade set over the back there. Lovely little bit of Charlotte Reed. This is a nice little honey glaze, sort of early Claris Cliff little dessert set there. Some lovely, those little conical things are actually ice cream scoops. They're really cool. And some nice bits of glass and other bits and bobs at the top here. Lovely big Australian art glass bowl and the little perfume bottle and the Italian bird. It's really nice at the back, the little um, Italian stovetop espresso maker. Speaking of Italian, little Batossi elephant. Some lovely books, the Norman Lindsay photograph books, another lovely bit. Susan and the Bodgy Womp. There you go, written by Lawson Glassop. Really cool thing. I think he wrote uh, We Were the Rats, all about the rats of Tobruk. Interesting bit. Lovely big thing over the back, the Representative Australians book. Beautiful cover. It's got lovely plates throughout of all noted Australians of the period by Charles Nuttall. And this, I think, is one of the nicest things we've had for a while. The Century and the Shell Fairy. This is a beautiful uh, 1910, 1920s book. It looks to be a first edition with beautiful colour plates throughout by Ida Rantoul Uthwaite. Love the front cover with the bats flying over the pyramids or whatever they are. And this is a lovely little booklet as well, a story of Wirra Wirra. Nice bits of glass, the Scott Spencer art glass vase. This is quite interesting actually. It looks to be an uh, animal skull with all the hand painted sort of tribal decoration on it. I'm trying to figure out what sort of animal it was from and we struggled a bit. Looks to be Australian, possibly a kangaroo, I really don't know. Someone will probably tell me, no, for goodness sake, it's not a kangaroo, you goomba. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, there's some cool stuff this week, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. <coughs> if you didn't, you know the score. Bad luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a cool little box of goodies here with all sort of old aircraft parts. All spark plugs and stuff still in their boxes. Interesting little lot. But, yeah, anyway, guys, hopefully you saw something you liked. See you on Thursday night. Around like an oblong. <laughs>